This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Well, as everybody knows, I am a massive, massive Everdell fan. And you wouldn't think it with the way I love to play all kinds of different types of um, war games and miniature games and stuff like that. But there's just something about Everdell that just really hits home with me and I really enjoy it. Uh, it they've got two new expansions that have come out. It's New Leaf and uh, Mistwood. Uh, does this add too much to this game? Does it overkill it? Well, there's only one way to find out. We're going to take a look at both of them down at the table. Let's see what we got here. So I'm not going to explain everything here, but of course here is the Everdale board in all its glory and the tons of cards that it comes with and everything like that. <clears throat> New Leaf, the first of the two expansions that we are going to be looking at, well, guess what? This board just got a bit bigger because now we are adding in a train station, which, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is just glorious. You're gonna have a couple more stops here. You're gonna wanna set some things up. You're going to have these, these um, train tickets that are going to play. They're going to give you um, a, um, a special ability um, um, give each player a ticket with an outbound side face up, okay? Because underneath, it's going to tell you that you can use your worker more than once. So you can use it twice. These here are going to be um, reservation tickets. And what you're going to be able to do is take a card and put that on top of a card. And you're going to be able to use it at a later time at a lesser cost. Okay, um, you're going to get some frogs and rabbits, which of course, uh, these, these particular uh, animals, you're going to get 24 critters, uh, four player power cards, four frog and, uh, uh, ambassadors, and four rabbit travelers. I didn't take them all out, of course. Uh, they're for use in Everdale, Pearl Brook, and Spirecrest. This game is just fantastic because it just, it's just so deep. Okay. Uh, the next thing is, is that you are going to run into these, which are visitors. People that are going to come and you're going to try to claim these cards because, number one, they give you a lot of points. And they're going to give you certain special abilities. Uh, also that you're going to get in here is uh, a new uh, six-point token uh, that's going to help you because there's going to be a lot more points involved. Uh, there's gonna, you, we're gonna see some new critters. We're gonna see a honeybee, a cat, a bat, and snail. They all have different types of powers that you're going to see. Uh, there's gonna be two more tokens that are gonna be brought in, in into the game that are that you're gonna want to uh, be able to claim. First of all, the scenic flight uh, that is going to come in, and then uh, just over a little bit, right near the tree, you're gonna have big city and you're going to be able to claim that as well. Uh, you're going to have this bag and you're going to fill the box cars here, okay, with certain things because you're going to be able to, of course, claim these uh, by, by putting a worker here. So you may get an extra pearl by claiming, uh, claiming that. Uh, and you, you know, you're going to draw these randomly, uh, a stone, and you're going to, oh, another, uh, another berry, excuse me, pearl, uh, berry. Um, there are going to be special abilities and, and things like that that you're going to be playing throughout here. There's going to be a ton more cards that are actually going to have a railroad system. You can mix them in, and this deck even gets even bigger, which is fantastic. This adds a whole nother depth to this, this fantastic story, and it's just so thematic. The beauty, the art. The, the, the it's just one of my favorite work replace game and it just got a heck of a lot bigger but oh wait my friends there's more let's go take a look at the other 
expansion that's come out for, that's coming out for this it's mist woods and let's go take a look at that and see all the really cool things that you get with that um one thing i want to uh, close out with this there there is more uh solo stuff that you can do and add this into of course with our good friend rugwarf and all the trouble that he likes to cause in our solo adventures but trains visitors um, bats, snails, cats, uh, bumblebees, uh, count me in folks, another fantastic expansion for one of the, the greatest work replacements of all time, according to me, um, and a game that I am just in love with, uh, Everdell. Let's head over and take a look at Mistwood. So this isn't how it's set up, but I wanted to just show you what you get with the Nightweave, uh, uh, the Mistwood expansion. Uh, Nightweave is a new villainess that is going to be, of course, giving us all kinds of problems in Everdale. This is going to be for either two players or one player, a very, very strong one player, just causing bedlam throughout the, the, the whole game, especially if you're playing one player. You're going to get a 12-sided die. So if you decide to play um, with, with the New Leaf Edition, you're going to use this die instead of the regular 8-sided die while you play uh, solo. Uh, you're going to have a marker for uh, spring, summer, winter, and fall. Um, normally, in the middle here, you would have your 8 cards laid out. Well, they're going to get webbed up okay, by this. Um, you're going to have activation cards. Uh, these activation cards are going to, um, they are going to uh, dictate some of the things that happen during winter, spring, and fall, of course. Uh, some of the different uh, uh, events that the worker spiders are going to do. You're going to have scoring cards. Each one of these are going to be different. You're going to draw, draw one, and uh, it's going to uh, um, perform different certain events during solo play. You have these plot cards that are going to be a nuisance, of course. Spiders in the trees, place web on uh, on each forest location. That's gonna be a pain in the neck because there's gonna be different types of plot cards that are, gonna, uh, that are going to mess things up. And of course, plan cards, uh, which uh, cannot be fun. Like for instance, this one here. During setup, place a spider web on the haven and mark it if using. When Nightweave enters the meadow, place a spider web on any empty exclusive um, space, basic or forest location. The web cannot be removed for the rest of the game. So this, this really just causes bedlam. You're gonna get more creature cards, okay? Uh, and, and construction cards, which already adds into, uh, you, you know, what is just a massive deck and you can never play the whole thing um, uh, twice. Uh, uh, Night, Nightweave is always going to be uh, going first and you're going to have these two boards that you're going to play uh, down on the bottom here, okay, which makes this game even more massive than it already is. And you're, you can play this with two players. So you're going to have all this different types of stuff. Uh, Nightweave's going to have a set uh, uh, way of actions. There's a term summary where you're going to reveal the activity card. If a worker or Nightweave has but... Uh, um, or uh, Nightweave, but empty lair, prepare for season. Otherwise... Perform first possible action for current season. And as you can see, you're going to get workers and they are going to have different types of things that they are going to do to just cause bedlam and try to beat you. This is very, very, very tough to beat. Um, I, I've, I've tried this already. Uh, I tried it just playing it straight up and then I tried it adding in uh, a new leaf. It really adds another dynamic. The, the other thing that it does when you are playing solo is that it's going to add to our, our good friend uh, Rugwork cards. When they show up, you're going to have Rowdy Rugwork, Rugwork the Robber, Rugwork the Ruler, um, and, and they're going to cause nothing but bedlam. And you can add all the different expansions in, and there are different things that you're going to do to enhance this 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 particular um, uh, uh, supplement 
uh, to the game and to the other expansions if you want to add them all. Playing all this, it, it, there's it's such a universe. It's so fantastic, and it does so many things. And I really like adding in a new villainess and, and, and the trouble that she can cause throughout Everdale. Um, really, really well done, and just not overkill, but just, just adds more to what is already a fantastic game. Not only that, but you're going to have some otters, you're going to have some... Some pigs and stuff that are going to be added in here. And butterflies, of course, adding to even more, more of what is already just such a, a, a fantastic, wonderful experience. Um, this, this, this is just something special. I mean, really, really special. And like I said earlier, more additional cards um, that, that are just going to give you different types of abilities. The art is just it's so thematic and so beautiful and uh easily easily my favorite work for place game of all time let's go up top and get my final thoughts on these two fantastic expansions the greatest in my mind work replacement game ever just got a hundred percent better i mean this is just mind-blowing and um, if you want this, go to um, Tabletop Tycoon, a uh, wonderful, wonderful site, um, and you, you're able to get this. Uh, and if you don't have Everdale, Dell, go get the Collector's Edition because it really makes a big difference. Uh, you get the extra cards and everything like that. Um, this this uh, New Leaf with the whole section that it adds on, I really enjoy the, the, the visitors. Um, um, being able to take a card and put it in reservation, the tickets that, that help you move your guy twice, um, it, it really has a unique feel. And then Mistwood, where it adds to that solo experience, or if you're playing with uh, just, just two players, um, what it does is just really stands out and just it, it just adds this feel to the forest. Like, oh no, there's this darkness. And just does a wonderful job the plot cards the the different ways to score and things like this just when you think this game is perfect it just gets that much better and this is why i love this game and i hope they never stop i hope this thing ends up being like a four foot by four foot game because i can sit there and play this all the time the beauty the art everything that this does just stands out and really touches something uh, Amy and Starling games uh, uh, a tip of the hat for just putting in quality and beauty to what I consider the greatest work replacement of all time at least to me you know um, I just really enjoy it I enjoy the theme I enjoy the the just pure fun of this and how wonderful it is so if you've never played it go out and give it a try you know you're an old war gamer like me can fall in love with something just so perfect. Until next time, it's your old pal Rod. Make sure you get the new expansions, especially if you have this game. It just, it gives it a whole different feel. New Leaf and Mistwoods. Until next time, it's your old pal Rod. We'll see you soon, everybody.